Welcome to Offenbach. We're here in an industrial site because nobody is allowed to see what we see today. And this is the new Kona Electric. There are two trends in the market. One thing is, last year, only in Germany, the market of electric vehicles has grown by more than 100%, up to 25,000 units. And there is another trend, which is about the small SUVs. And these cars are growing dramatically, and I think this trend will go on this year as well. So I'm quite sure the Kona Electric will easily find its clients. And now we're going to have a closer look at what that car offers in detail. The dimensions of the Kona Electric are only slightly different to the standard Kona. With 4.175 meters in length and 1.565 meters in width, the electric version is only 1 cm longer and 1.5 cm higher. With its progressive and dynamic styling, the all-new Kona Electric clearly carries the design DNA of the Kona. The characteristic design element of the front are the twin tight headlamps available with full LED technology. The Kona Electric comes with a modified front, so we have a different bumper, a closed grille which incorporates the charging port and a redesigned lower air intake. Having a look at the vehicle side, so the electric version of the Kona has slightly modified front claddings around the wheel area. Furthermore, the Kona Electric has dedicated 17-inch alloy wheels which have been optimized for better aerodynamics. The customer can choose from seven exterior colors and three contrasting roof colors. So next to me you see the Kona Electric in ceramic blue body color with the roof and the exterior mirrors painted in chalk white. The side line shows the same design as the regular Kona, very dynamic lines and a very progressive appearance. The strong and progressive styling also continues at the rear. The electric version comes with a modified rear bumper and a redesigned lower wheel lamp unit. But let's have a closer look to the trunk. Despite the large battery sizes, the Kona Electric has now compromised in terms of trunk volume with a capacity of 332 liters. The built-in underbody battery not only provides a lower center of gravity, it also guarantees a comparable trunk volume in regards to the Kona. The difference of about 30 liters only exists because of the space needed for the charging cable. With 1054 mm legroom in the front row and 850 in the rear, the Kona Electric offers just as much front space as the standard version. The only Kona Electric comes with a dedicated center console which incorporates the button type shift by wire module for an intuitive operation of the electric drivetrain. The new 7 inch digital cluster informs the driver about the status of the EV system, showing for example the battery state of charge. The combiner type head-up display always projects all the relevant driving information directly into the driver's line of sight. This model is equipped with an 8-inch navigation system that comes with Apple CarPlay and Google Android Auto connectivity and it features a Crowell Premium sound system. Regarding to the assistance and safety systems, you don't have to compromise. The Hyundai Kona Electric offers a rear cross-traffic alert, an adaptive cruise control and an active lane departure warning system, just to name some. What I saw in the description is that Hyundai offers two different powertrains for the new Kona Electro. Mark, what does that mean? What is the difference between the, the, the two of them? Exactly. The customer has the possibility to choose. So we have the long-range version with a battery capacity of 64 kilowatt hours that allows to drive purely electric up to 470 kilometers. And this version has electric motor with a maximum output of 150 kilowatts. The basic version with a battery capacity of 39 kilowatt hours allows to drive electric up to 300 kilometers with the e-motor providing up to 99 kilowatts of output. Oh, that's very interesting, but I read that the car offers, I think in both versions, up to 395 newton meters of maximum torque and this was such a small car, how does that drive? This is really fun to drive, so the torque is available immediately from standstill, so it's an impressive acceleration and also the acceleration to 100 kph is done in 7.6 seconds for the high power variant. So really fun to drive. I think that could be great fun standing at the traffic lights and giving full throttle. 
Not only the ranges of the two drive variants are impressive. In about 55 minutes around 80% of charging should be achievable on fast charging systems for both of the cars. That was our sneak preview about the brand new Kona Electric. What I really like with the car is that it follows the design language of the Kona, but on the other hand, it really has its own features that makes that car absolutely unique. I'm quite sure that that car will be a big success because it follows two trends. One is the growing amount of electric cars we see on the roads today, and the other one is this big trend of the small SUVs. And at the moment, I'm really looking forward to drive that car with its 395 Newton meters on the road myself quite soon. The Kona Electric is the first full electric small SUV in Europe. But it will not be alone in the market for long. It is quite clear that cars like the Volkswagen T-Roc or Audi Q2 will be available electrically powered soon.